you're going to see a complete uh, uh, deconstruction of the Clinton Foundation and the Clinton Global Initiative. This is not a charity. This is a slush fund for grifters. This is a luxury travel service for the Clinton family. And more importantly, this is a vehicle for the facilitation of multi-million dollar bribes. Yeah, we, everything we, we, Hillary Clinton had control of as Secretary of State was for sale. If you are an, an international oil company or a person of enormous wealth or an international company, you could purchase the removal of Gaddafi, for example, which was purchased uh, by bribes to the Clintons. You could uh, buy multi-million dollar uh, defense contracts that needed approval at the uh, Secretary of State's office. You could buy approval for arms purchases that were previously illegal by giving million dollar contributions to the Clinton Foundation. Donald Trump has the gumption and the facts to expose all of this. So I think the Clintons uh, are, are, are aware of the fact that Trump is their worst enemy, their worst nightmare. Unlike these other Republican candidates who are in the tank, who are in the same club with the Clintons, uh, no holes will be barred. Trump is a brawler and he has the facts. This is going to be one of the most exciting uh, and most hard-fought presidential campaigns in American history. Now, what about the email server? I mean, you brought up a, a, a laundry list of, of ways that Hillary Clinton can be taken down. We haven't even talked about the server. Uh, the FBI is investigating her. What's going to happen there? Well, I don't think we know. Uh, I, I'm still confident the FBI director, who is a straight, by-the-book law enforcement guy, is going to recommend her indictment. I'm also fairly comf uh, comfortable that Barack Obama will pardon her relatively quickly. She's never going to go to trial. Uh, and then the question remains, is he pardoning her in return for her dropping out of this race? Or is he pardoning her so an indictment and a trial is not a barrier to staying in this race? That's the part we don't know. In any event, I expect the FBI director to resign who knows, perhaps 20 or 30 FBI agents will resign with him, and you're going to have a firestorm. Either way, this is not a net plus for Hillary Clinton. Now, I think there's two different aspects of the, of the email scandal people need to understand. These emails were erased largely because they show the nexus between the State Department and the Clinton Foundation. They are a paper trail that shows that it was a pay-for-play operation. And if you wanted to buy the right to buy guns uh, and you needed the State Department to approve that, you simply had to grease the Clinton Foundation. Then secondarily, of course, is the fact that the emails, many of them, contained top secret classified information. Huma Abedin is a, a spy for the Muslim Brotherhood, someone who is not a loyal American, someone who needs to become a household name in this campaign was the individual who reviewed all those documents. So how many of them did she send to the Muslim Brotherhood or to foreign governments before they were destroyed? I doubt her loyalty, and the American people will doubt her loyalty once uh, her background and her connections are fully exposed. Now, we're, you mentioned Benghazi, and of course uh, we know now from the emails that it was revealed on her server, an unsecure server, that she actually revealed the location of Christopher Stevens, the ambassador who was then murdered. Uh, now she comes out and, and she has a, a serious gaffe on the campaign trail, completely disregarding his death. I mean, she literally said, we didn't lose a single person in Libya. What does that tell us about Hillary Clinton's mental state? Yeah, I think she's somewhat delusional. Uh, look, many people thought that her testimony before the House was a tour de force, that she came out unscathed. On the contrary, she was nailed with at least five lies. In all honesty, as a professional, I could take her testimony, I could edit them into 30-second TV spots with an actual bite of her lying and then show you the facts. She told us that the attack on Benghazi and on our mission was caused by an anti-Islamic video in, uh, in Turkey. We now know that that entire lie was invented by uh, Sidney Blumenthal, the dirty trickster who was on the payroll of the Clinton Foundation. Why a, a charitable organization would need a dirty trickster, I don't really know. Uh, and we also know that within hours of the actual attack, 
she told uh, her daughter and the Egyptian ambassador that we were attacked by a group affiliated with Al Qaeda. So uh, again, she's been caught in another massive lie. Thank you.